Hello friends, I'm Serivo and welcome back to another episode of Atomic Heart. In the last episode, this happened. <laughs> and our beloved boss is here. Rip, bro. Anyway, we need to get out of here somehow. I don't know how, but let's let's see if this door leads somewhere. Oh, there's the elevator. <laughs> that was simple and easy. Major, you alive? No, I got killed by a grenade. I'm so sorry that <laughs> happened. I didn't want any of this, but none of it matters right now. So what does matter, you crispy-ass critter? We have to meet. You need to see this with your own eyes. I'll show you everything. What do you mean by everything? You trust Sechenov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no idea what's really going on. You need to see it with your own eyes or you're not going to believe it. You got that right. I have no fucking idea what's going on. You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. <laughs> That's true. Trust nobody. I mean, this game was really a roller coaster so far. Like a thriller movie or something like that. Okay, we are out. Let's let's go to the lighthouse. Comrade Major. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? You said you would make a decision about the ring. Uh oh. Did that crazy ass uh -oh. thing kill that whale? Damn. The dewdrop is the latest design in the field of biomechanics. Simulate. It is a hydraulic pump. Isn't that what I just said? Is it dead? No, no, it's not dead. What the hell, man? You're fucked, toaster. Ah, you're fucked, toaster. It's dead and I'm not. Isn't it dead? Uh oh. Damn, Major, you almost lost your nuts there. Oh, what is that? Wow, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that thing was dangerous. I didn't know if I could handle it. And there are much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. Real? There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet, but once collective launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood will be spilled because of one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Uh-oh. Done. Happy now? Good decision, Comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. I mean, in one hand, it's a shame. I really wanted to know what is the deal with those rings. How they work, to be more precise. Oh. Crap, what a surprise. Why'd they freeze up? The access code has been successfully extracted from Petrov's neuropolymer memory. The combat mode has been disabled, and the robots have returned to their normal status. Well done, my boy. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? Come back to Chelame, get a checkup, and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. <laughs> I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechenov about Falatova. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. 
Dr. Sechenov isn't going to like it, you know. So don't tell him. <laughs> yeah, shut up. A lighthouse, huh? So where is she? Larissa! Freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's gotta be here. Do you trust Dr. Falatova? I don't trust anyone. But she's got something important to tell me. And I'm sure Dr. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov ever told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov, Jellyman killed Stock, and the Boston even bat an eye. Is the launch oh, collective Stark really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. Is what do we here? have here? A chair and a TV? This isn't what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific mm. function. Okay, let's sit down. Enjoy the show. We watch some cartoons. Unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. Ah, so she hacked the system. Kind of like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. Are we entering the so Bioshock biome? <laughs> what the hell? It's nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelomey. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's gonna regret it. I'm sick of playing Kevin Mouse with her. <laughs> Major is mad. And here she is. Talk. What are we doing here? What do you want? Just hear me out, P3. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds, and they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too. But that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Nechaev. It's even worse than slavery. Bullshit. It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. Okay. Okay, lead on. It almost felt like entering the vault. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. What the hell is this? The fuck is this place? A haunted house or something? It's a tomb of the mind. The volunteers who lay the foundation for Collective. The first few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. Do they eat or sleep? Under my complete control. Want me Drink? to make them do something? Why? To show that I'm not lying. Whatever. Line them up. Wow. Keep going. 
Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use Just it. Just him? Why don't I make them all jump? After all, we all live in a communist society. God damn you, jump! This is insane. Why do you people even do this shit? Fuck. Poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why would Sechenov want to turn everyone into a bunch of idiots? Was he trying to make fun of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> no. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. What the hell? We gotta stop this. Stop this? That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neuro controllers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. The awakening. <sighs> Boss would never do Wake that. Wake up. He would, and he will, on Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I'm in. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov? After what you just showed me? Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. Who's talking? The man can be repaired. What? What was that? What's what? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on. <sighs> I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... Uh, you know the rest. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. Fine, moving on. The test subject is not leaving limbo. Inject your What the uh, hell is hey, going Major. on with me? I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. It won't hurt, Sergeant. You won't even remember a thing. Are those flashbacks or something? Serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. No thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. Yeah, I sure. Mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Cheers, man. What the hell are you doing? This is very disturbing to watch, to be honest. Just look at them, they all they have is like a bed and a toilet and they're perfectly happy. Nobody wants to live like that. Luckily I don't have to watch that shit anymore. I spoke too soon. I have some more flashbacks. Resist, my darling. Resist. Ah, fuck. I'm 
so sick of these goddamn hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah, exactly. Do you know what this shit is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big, teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh, crap. Now it's gone. It's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Vossot polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. It doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshod Polymer Extension? The Voshod Polymer Extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dimitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dimitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am... Charles! Why the fuck are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the Archive right now. There will be records about you. I wanted to find out about Charles. Damn it! State your name and personal access code. Crispy critters. Invalid name. Fine, I'll <laughs> hack in. Not so fast. Name Charidan Zaharov. Code Fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Easy peasy. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. <laughs> so how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module. The one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments... on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. So when did you realize that Charles is Zaharov? Just about right now. When he went offline, I had no idea Sechenov had stashed his consciousness into your glove. It was the abbreviation Charles that tipped me off. So Charles isn't a person anymore. Just a device. I don't know. I guess he is. Except this device is based on the logical paradigm and experience of one of the brightest Soviet geniuses. So why does Sechenov want him? Because Sechenov never dismisses what he can use. It's easier for him to change everything to fit his needs. I guess you noticed this already. What's funny is that you seem to have made friends with your glove. Well, we've been through a lot. I've got feelings, you know, being alive and all. So does he. Did. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the Archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the Academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. But now Archivist thinks I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready to learn about me. Welcome, Chariton Zaharov. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 42 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Um, from the beginning. How do I pick? P3, 
Pick any entry, Major. Time's running out. There are lots of entries. Pick one. Okay. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prostheses. Yeah, I already know half my body's prosthetic. What else is new? These are just general observations. Find another recording. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Crispy. I'll get another one. What? Sechenov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. He Listen, did. Doc, he saved my life. Do you think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> so you're a volunteer, huh? Then why are you such a disobedient test subject? Because before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go get another recording. Here's another one. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod Neuropolymer Brain Function Extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Codename, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yet a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, <laughs> we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland, switching the Major into combat mode on command. I'd like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no fucking way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with the push of a button. And my body? Your body will kill whoever he tells it to. I'm the killing machine. machine. What about the hallucinations? Are they also Sechenov? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Why the hell should I believe any of this? The boss would never do this to me. Yeah, right. Just like he'd never wipe your wife's existence from your memory. Just like he'd never design Collective to be a mind control system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. <laughs> Maybe I will. Or do you believe Major? I'll 
speak god damn he's waiting for us at cello may if we want to stop setting off we'll have to string him along so you bring me there as your captive and then what and then we play it by ear So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try to hack this elevator and get us back to the surface. Oh, maybe it's worth uh -huh. a shot. Paying attention now, dickbag! Major, I, I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. Don't have any data, huh? You've always known about all this. There's a reason you're called Charles, right? You're Char a ton. Zaharov, you son of a bitch. Got an explanation? Huh? There's nothing to explain, Major. You're just as much a Charles to me as I am a perfect stranger to you. First, Sechenov murdered me. Then he turned me into a blob of polymer goo. Then he brainwashed you and manipulated you. How could I trust either of you? That's why I pretended to be the chatting artificial librarian. I wanted to see who was who. Yeah, well... I guess I would have done the same. <laughs> so what are we going to do now, huh? What else can we do, Sergei? You and I are friends now, and we know the truth. We need to get to Sechenov, rectify this injustice, and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Chariton. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the Collective Network. On Monday, Everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. Shit, I can't let that happen. Listen, the fucking gadget, the thought device, you can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> they feel because close. Because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of Collective. The thought device can be removed. But this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot be undone. Everyone who gets an injection will be part of Collective forever. But I... Was I really married? What was my wife's name? Ekaterina. And you aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. Oh. You and your wife served with the Argentum unit. Ekaterina, or Katya as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. And? As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and uh, martial arts. I see where Are this you is to going. The boss is metal twins? No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, comrade major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this glove. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck me. This can't be a. We've oh, had a ride, Major. We let, can get out of here. Let's get out. Come can on. we go, Major? Okay, let's go. No, oh, Major is mad. Let's go, baby. I'm really sorry you had to go through all this. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go again. No. Not now! Not here! We are all monsters in the dark, my boy. How many times have you talked about this? More than here, I should. From my father's library was nothing. Completed the puzzle. I 
found a book that now prevents me from sharing my knowledge. That book is human greed and People have no time to dedicate themselves to science. On the other side of the world, they're busy playing with money. And on this side, they're playing with the power of the masses. Science. Shattered to pieces by the husks. No one has ever read. None of the social systems that exist now allow humanity to fully evolve. They are all. Get rid of money and let robots toil for us. Get rid of inequality and the lie of communism. Give people freedom of choice. Accelerate evolution. Oh, I found the exit. Nice. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity. <sighs> and the red alert Finally will be back with very us, soon. Sonny. You took Collective a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. <sighs> Disgraceful. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my Gartinka. Our Gartinka. <laughs> they played hell with your memory, Sonny. Lady, oh my what are you God. talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaeva, codenamed Blesna, member of the Argentum Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. <laughs> you worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. You scattered her to the four winds. As I was afraid. I don't have one. <laughs> what would you like? Anything will do. I just need to blow my head off. Great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be that done Stand with down, it. lady. Then set an off to turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest my of the world. I get it. If you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that freak down once and for all. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this shit, Sergei? It is me, Zinaida. Chariton Zaharov. Chariton? You devil! You're alive! <laughs> In a sense, an evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a fucking minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Zina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya? Kartinka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging you, Sergei. Sechenov has to die! Don't worry. Jeez, get off my back already! Crispy critters! What the hell is going on around here? On the one hand, I've got lying, manipulative dicks who claim to be noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. According to the manipulative dicks, that is. <sighs> Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's in that arsenal of yours? Okay, guys. This will be the end of this episode. It was, I don't know how 
What do you do even say? The truth will set you free. <laughs> but what is the truth anymore? Is Sergeant really that bad guy? Or the glove is manipulating us? I, I'm not sure anymore, but I guess we will need to stick around until the end to find out, right? Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and please subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye!